Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, She Lover, Mocha Lover, or She Lover, in which right now we're playing as the Tsai Dynasty, or Tsai. I've uh, got a couple comments to go through, including what I just said. So instead of Kai Dynasty, someone said it, it's more like a soft C sound, more like Tsai. So Tsai Dynasty, sorry, I don't speak Chinese, but we're currently doing the final focus that we can currently do, the March of War. Rally the men, ready your vehicles. Today marks the invasion of the Brotherhood. The sounds of our men marching across the way sand and into the Brotherhood will strike fear to all those who oppose us. And as you can see, the Legion is doing a tremendous job against the NCR. Now, the Brotherhood has about 5,000 manpower, which is not good. They got up to 59 divisions, which is quite a bit, with a lot of power armor. Oh, hello. Um, they don't have a lot of equipment. They have a lot of guns and power armor, but no planes and a few motorized vehicles, but that's okay. Seeing as we do have quite a few planes ourselves and a little bit of cast, so. Hopefully we do well here. Getting ready to go to war. Ready to build up a couple enemies. We've got a couple comments to go through as well. And actually, I've already gone ahead and mobilized until service into dismissal. And sound the drums of war, our armies will march across the borders. Soon the Brotherhood will face our military might as we show them the might of the Empire. Let us beat the drums of war. And we immediately go to war. Very good, very good. We got some radar. And I should probably go ahead and research some crowd control here. That'd probably be a good idea. So let's move in, boys. I'm going to leave the special forces here in our capital just in case. As well as a port over here just in case because the Brotherhood might actually naval invade us, which would not be very good, obviously. Oh, we have to fight the Steel Rangers too. Well, they're fighting the Legion, so we'll give the Legion the Steel Rangers and we'll just take all of this territory here. So, wait, look, an encirclement, even though there's no divisions here. Can we pierce the booties? Yes, we can. They actually have anti-air. Huh. Uh, we can pierce them, which is good. What is that? Enemy air superiority reduced. Having anti-air battalions in your division so you counter the enemy air superiority penalty to offend some breakthrough, and also shoot down planes while, who are directly attacking. Now, I don't understand... Uh, maybe I don't should say I don't understand. I guess they just have automatically have anti-air in their divisions, which is kind of interesting to think about, but hey, that's all right. Scavenger spawns something great. Electronics bonus. We're doing an okay amount of damage. They do have a little bit of anti-air. Not that much. They shoot down a few planes here and there, but overall, not too bad. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should stop training our ships. Oops. I think we just lost the Navy. Ooh, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Especially once the uh, Legion shows up down here, too. So, um, Okay, so maybe at this point we should stop attacking like crazy. We're still doing relatively okay, though. But, you know, we only have so much manpower. Over here, we're not doing great. You guys hold. You hold as well. Let those guys stack up on the line if they really feel like it. That's fine. You go over here and beat them up. You can definitely beat these guys up. That'll be good. Uh, we have no stability. We lost about 144 versus 400. Not bad, not bad. Could be better, though, of course. Could be better. Now, I'm going to expect them to attack us quite a bit, actually. Uh, let's see... Ooh, that's not bad. Up out if you can. Air-wise, they're still shooting down some planes, but we're doing a pretty good job with, uh, air superiority. Yeah, keep going up. I like the number going up. Kind of sucks if we can't win here, huh? Man. Well, that's the case. You guys just hold them. You're going to fail here, but both of you are going to attack right here. And even if we can't win, we can't pierce some of them, huh? That is very odd. I mean, you get some better anti air tank. Okay, so we can't win at all. All right, good to know. So, you guys will have to attack us then. I'm not going to attack any further then. Come on. And the and these guys are just going to die. I'm still taking all this no matter what the Legion does. So, uh, yeah, they're go definitely going to die here. That sucks. Come on. You wanted, to, you wanted to win, so come on. Come on, attack us. Oh, they're running out of manpower. They got 2,000 left. I think we're still mobilizing a little bit more, maybe. No, nope, we're done mobilizing. All right. Well, so be it. Keep it up, see what we can do. Yeah, we definitely need to get some more anti-tank. Is there really any point to attack if we don't have enough anti-tank? And division-wise... Well, they're not shooting down our planes too much, which is good. It does help to have air superiority. And we got to make sure, too, that we do this as well. What? Well, good wasteland pacification would be nice. Very, 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 very nice. If we could just pierce them a little bit more, that'd be good. 76. Uh... Just need more anti-tank. Yeah, there's no point to attack. We're going to get more anti-air. And, I mean, they are fighting each other, so. As you can see, they're fighting the Western Brotherhood. So, you know, oh, and now they're going to lose because they, can't fight a two, they cannot fight a two-front war. There's a 0% chance that they can fight a two-front war. Especially now that the NCR is completely gone, so. You know, you could have just died to us, but, oh, you got encircled. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job, you morons. 
not you guys, but you know, this little uh, brother here, here. Actually, no, I almost forgot. Nope. Thank you. Oh, oh, you had divisions go bye bye. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys are pieces of garbage. And I'm going to blow up your stupid tin can suits right there, you piece of crap. Good, good, good. Oh, uh, we could force the attack, but that'd probably be a waste of lives, honestly. Ooh, common energy weapons are nice. We've got some of that, too. Uh, oh, we aren't doing this at all, huh? That's not smart. Operation, shall we, my friends? Uh, I'll probably do the Legion. We'll probably kill them off at some point, so. Oh, we want to grab some of that, too. That'd be very nice to get. Got plenty of planes, though. Plenty of planes. Nice. Oh, they got encircled up here, too. Nice. Oh, those, those guys got uncircled. Unencircled. Platoon trading is good. Let's grab some more recovery rate. Invest into the military academy, perhaps. Is there anywhere else we could strike? Here would not be bad, but we just we can't afford that right now. Recruitment drive? Yeah, less than a thousand manpower. Um, they are slowly expanding into the Legion, but NCR territories. NCR territories are are now ours, but they are far too vast and our military is far too stretched thin for us to manage. We will need to find a way to manage the vast amounts of new territories that are now under our management. And so the paperwork begins. Um if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Holy crap, it unlocked more down here. Do we finish everything over here? Yeah, we did. Uh, establish the provincial system. Neutral Tsai clan, neutral masses. Managing the courts. Whoa, dealing with Rome. Ancient rivals, the Silk Road. Huh, peace treaty until 2285. Huh. French territories, New Vegas. Yeah, honestly, the first war between all the, the various factions here really hurt us quite a bit. Between, you know, the Civil War, but... Establish a province system. Directly managing the vast territories of the Empire is a near impossibility of the current state of our administration. Perhaps it would be best to set up semi-autonomous provincial governments to rule over the territories in our stead while we solidify control. Might as well do that, right? Might as well. They've, up, yep, they've lost a couple divisions so far. We have slightly better information about what they have. Are they out? They're, no, they're not out of guns. There's no way they're out of guns, right? Come, yeah, there's no way. Uh, they got plenty of power armor anyway, so. But they are running out of manpower, so any, all the damage we do... Oh, we're going straight in. Force it. Force it, force it, force it. Force them to die. Because the Legion is coming in. I'm going to take that territory. I don't care what happens. Uh, we need that territory. So, I don't care what happens. Uh, you guys help out. There is no peace for these guys, so... Are they doing last stand? They might be doing last stand up here. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that. What the heck? Oh, no, they're not. Machine assisted encryption. Who dares wins? Yeah, she got more anti-tank piercing. Should have realized that earlier. Oh, look at that. No, they're definitely doing last stand. Look at that. Yep, they, they literally did last stand until they died. Holy crap. Okay, managing the courts. With the Empire now too far too vast, conspiring rebels and... Psy clan members will likely take advantage of this and try and take power. We must carefully manage the interests of the masses and other prominent members of the Psy clan. Thus, we want them to begin conspiring against the Empire. Now we must walk the tightrope. Provinces Jinhai. Uh, Southern Laguna Range. We just take stuff from them. Oh. Well, I just... Ooh, Central, that's Shady Sands. Mexican families. Um... Tsai clan buyout and Redding free trade Jinhai Nan Sha Well, province of Jinhai The territory is along the banks of the Colorado River formerly belonged to the Rapids tribe before they were forcibly brought into the NCR's fold. Establishing an imperial government to help keep stability in the region is vital to ensure that the former tribes do not get any ideas about breaking free Uh Do we just get that for free no matter what happens? That's kind of cool that we can do that Oh yeah, these guys are doing last stand as well. Look at that. No, oh, they should be like that. Okay, that, that division literally just died there. All right, I, I, as you can tell, I don't really care about casualties because the brother has to die. It just has to die. Yep, they're doing it again. They have to be doing it. Look at how weak they are. Good, die. <laughs> go, 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 go. This didn't alien invade us. I don't like being surrounded by the legion like this. Oh boy. Well. I'm, not, I'm still taking all this territory. I don't care what happens. I don't care what the enemies say. I'm still taking all this territory. They, they don't deserve it. So, besides, we spent so much time trying to placate our stupid Civil War people here. That they should have burned to the ground. That's why we did not <clears throat> spare any traitors. Oh, maybe don't do that. 
Focus fire. Alright. Get some rocket launchers. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, we gotta wait for the Civil War to end now. Or the war to these guys to end. But hey, that's okay. We got some stuff to do here. Let's do some tech. Not bad. Distribute some pit boys. Pretty good. <clears throat> Deploy the Xiyang fleet. This will anger much of the masses. Tribal ships. Anger much of the Tsai clan. Hmm... Oh, it does just give it to us. Wow. Oh, they didn't have court claims on this, do they? Whoa. Okay, that is different. They don't have any cores on this, which is going to be a, a, probably a pretty big problem, though. Never mind, that's not... Okay, then. Thank you for taking out everyone, NC, uh, Legion. Um, okay. <laughs> Dealing with Rome, we've got to do that eventually. Well, let's get all the territory from them, I guess. Uh, the mountainous settlements of the northeast are far too distant for direct management and governing for now. Provincial government established in Saxe to ensure that our control does not slip away completely while ensuring that the many resource mines located there continue to provide us with much needed resources for economy. Okay. <laughs> um, can I have the Brotherhood, please? I don't think the Desert Rangers can really keep it up against the Legion, but I could be wrong. They do have no manpower. These guys do have 63,000 manpower. They have a lot more divisions, yeah. Um, Steel Rangers, you picked a wrong fight. And as you can tell, uh, I'm building up a lot of forts and actually air bases, huh? There you go. Eventually, we're going to run out of things, places to build, so. There you go. Alright, next, advanced energy. Eh, might as well do that one, right? Advanced energy weapons, very good. After this. Oh, and we also got Poseidon Energy Works. Eh, electronics. We're pretty much done with electronic stuff, so we can't kind of wait. What is this? Neutral masses. Maintains indifference towards the Imperial government and does does heed much attention to the Imperial government at all. All right, well, it is what it is. Stonks, bull, maybe bear. Very nice. Look at all the people we got. Cool. Help settlements out. Exploit our provinces. We could do that, but let's go and do the province of Haijing. The vast city space of the Bone Yard and Greater Day Glow are far too much to be demanded as of now. We need to establish a provincial government to rule for us in the meantime. The problems of Haijing will be established. Hopefully, the Legion doesn't care for us too much. Province of Shang. Uh, Shan. Jing. Alright then. Wow. This is. I'd hate to be playing as a Legion right now. Ooh, and actually. Ooh. You know what? We still take. the. Greater Dago area, whatever. Oh, Hentido still has it. Uh, they still, they're still connected. I still want them to kill all these guys, so. That'd be good. Uh, 12,000. That, that's not a lot of cow trees. Honestly, the Legion's done extremely well. I need to play them again sometimes, just because. Why not? <laughs> cool. Um, we're starting to run out of man money. Profit's not too high right now. After this, Invisible Ink. Let's see. There you go. Then again, I keep spending money on that stuff, so. Well, let's see. Let's grab some more recon kits, because we are using special forces technically, so that'd be probably pretty good to do. Thank you. Tsai Clan buyout. Please the members of the Tsai Clan anger the masses. Huh. So we just gotta be balanced with whatever we do. Please Tsai Clan, please the masses. But anger many of the clan. Uh, well, Shang Jing, anger members of the clan, please much of the Tsai clan. I want to please the Tsai clan so we can piss off the Tsai clan. So lo local run mines, run local mines. The mines of Reading have done well under the hands of the locals. We will allow them to keep the mines and invest in them in exchange that they send a portion of their mining yields to be sent to us as tribute. So to anger many of the clan members, but Udukai. It's like expansion, so please them, and please much of the clan, and please most of the masses. So it doesn't really matter, honestly, which one. I mean, overall, eventually, we're going to have enough resources as is, so I'm not really too worried about this. This is kind of ugly, I'll be honest. And the province of Haijing. Cool. And by doing it like this, I guess the Legion doesn't have to garrison nearly as much. Uh, Glory Falls, these guys aren't doing anything here. Uh, can you guys please do something? Can you please finish the war? Uh, you might as well cut that time. We've got enough uh, political power anyway, so. 
Now, do we do the Silk Road peace treaty with them? Caps must flow. Masters of the Sea, the might of the fleet. And New Vegas. And next war goal against them. Oh, we're kind of late to do all this stuff. Old World Tech. You get a research slot. Or New Vegas families. You get cores. You actually get straight cores. I like that one. War goal against Vault City. Vault City Elitism. And more cores. You get either cores or research slots. Um, I like both. Honestly, research slots are usually pretty good to get. But it's already getting pretty late in the game already. And we can always core more stuff technically. So, how about we run our local mines. And then have some Thai expansions. The mining settlements in the Northeastern Territories provided excellent materials for business expansions. Perhaps we can use this to our advantage to increase the Thai's clan's businesses and clan's wealth. So right now, supportive masses. Okay, so the masses kind of support us. Even the, the language, the resentful clans, we lose political power and caps and come an alarming trend. If you like to hear about that, please go right, ahead, go right ahead. It's nothing. It just, this happens every campaign if you have puppets, so it's not really noteworthy to really speak of. And let's try to finish this stuff off. That's very good. Some better guns are always nice to have. How are planes coming along? Let's grab some of this as well. Good. Please, guys, finish them off. Please. Please. And please, much of the side clan. Now, after this, both sides will be relatively okay. So, I want to wait. So, they're just together here. Um, what are we going to do? Sai Haba, please. Anger members. Nansha. Oh, this won't be okay to do. The southernmost tip of the Baha House, formerly run by bandits and gunslinging hooligans, now that the NCR no longer polices the area, will need to establish a strong form of imperial provincial government to maintain order in the area, lest we lose the area to total and utter chaos. Good idea. So, uh, supportive masses, as well as loyal Sai clan. You get more caps and more political power. I mean, this is... I like, I like this. This is different. This is definitely different and interesting. Wow. Texas is looking not bad. Even though they own this part of Louisiana, but not all of Louisiana under the patrolman. Alright, well, whatever. Y'all do you. Recon scouting team kits. Nice. Let's grab some more of that. Thank you. Let's come over here. Maybe grab some of that. Thank you. Anything else? Create West Coast section. Men of prospectors. Exploiting people. Well, it's always fun to exploit people. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, construction. We're just building up a lot of stuff. I mean, that's just pretty much it. Oh, we can build in our puppets, too. Uh, honestly, these forts, as much as I like the forts, I don't think we need these forts anymore, so. <laughs> I built a lot of forts. We actually still might need all these forts later on, but I apologize for the clicking, but it's just the fastest if I do it like this. Click, 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 click. And do it because I'm done, too, so. Alright, we got through it. San Jose. You might as well build up roads in our puppets. We might as well, right? Make sure they lower their autonomy. We get more, uh, eventually, more resources to use if we trade with these guys or we just integrate them. So, and we can move faster trying to integrate or move places. So, I think it's worth it. Cool. Air stuff, modifying fighters, thank you. I send division. Probably just one, literally, division. Good, good, good. That's a lot of manpower, not bad. Oh! That was another comment. Someone had a special name for our special forces, but I think there's going to be at least one more episode after this, so if I remember correctly, I will remember to put on that special name. Ah, uh, Kim Company's... We might use it for that, so... None shit. Uh, let's see... Dealing with Rome, we'll do that eventually. Ah, uh, please, masses. Clan. Anger. So th both of these are going to anger. Both of these are going to anger as well. Um, arms workshops. I just want to help please people. So let's p piss people off first, maybe, and then we'll please them again. Anger much of the masses. So with this one, please praise. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Anger much of the Tsai clan naval experience. Uh, let's get some more of this. The tribal background and ships may prove to be useful to us as we learn from the seafaring ways who giving them their tribal identities back, which may cause problems with attempting to govern them. Cause I, I, we gotta make sure we're nice and balanced here. We got so much political power, my goodness. Not bad, not bad. And we're still mobilizing more, wow. Stew with that pill. Not, this is turning into a giant mess, but I'm liking this. 
I'm glad whoever whoever made this mod. Uh, I really I'm pretty I'm really enjoying it actually. It seems really interesting, especially uh, with the as the person mentioned or put it when I read it in the dis not Discord, but the Steam page. They try to make it more like TNO storytelling, more of a, a narrative for us to follow. So I like what's happening here. I do like it. But I wouldn't want this for every single campaign, because it, it would make the campaign just drag on a little bit more and more and more and more, but that, maybe that's just me. After this, after we have angered the clan, we got to please the clan next. Let's get more caps. Yeah, well, this is much better. Tsai Trade Office. The province of Jinhai constantly receives traders from traders of Arizona, who constantly trade with their traders across the Colorado River, establishing a trade office and controlling the flow of trade and taxes, which will give us great political influence over the area for a time. I love the caps, I love political power, so... Pretty good. <clears throat> Pretty good. And we got about one more day left, which is not bad. And thank you. Alright, so supportive and resentful. Cool. And we're done with this. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad we're done with that. Wow, the Legion. You guys are very, very strong. But you refuse to move. The Principate? Oh, oh technically, the guys are still alive. Seriously, um, can you guys kill these guys off? I don't mind if I have to go through, like, New Reno to Yakuza territory to get to the Steel Rangers that way. I can do that. We could do that pretty easily. But, oh, that's not good. We're done administration. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Just, uh, you know what? You can have a little bit more autonomy. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, is there anything we could do to help them out, really? I mean, realistically, not really, but... How strong is New Reno? Oh, they're fighting Vault City. Oh, they have no manpower. Oh! Um... Controls a home area state with zero kilometers of any new Reno's home state areas. Um, I don't know about that, man. I can't go to war with them through here. I can go to war with the Legion, but that's not a good idea. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God, I think we're in a, kind of a pickle right now. That's not a good pickle. We got a lot of manpower. Jeez, holy crud. All right, after the trade office, let's take a look at our national spirits. Oh, we have rebellious masses. Failure to do this matter properly may lead to open to the masses to ha begin having thoughts of open revolt. Um, oh, that's not good. Please the masses, but anger. And, okay, so then free, free trade. The province of Jinhai continues to prosper with the trade, perhaps leaving the markets to regulate themselves with. Which will be far better. Perhaps we can strike some trade deals with the Arizona and traders to deliver us more resources. So, that'll be good. Please the masses, because the masses kind of need to be pleased right now. We lost stability. Well, we didn't have stability to begin with from that, so. Um, please, guys. Please. You want an attaché? I can send you an attaché. Monoplane fighters. Fuel injection. Oh, come on, Legion. Just don't go to war with me, please. Please, 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 please. And please, just kill these guys off. I might have to manually go, like, do it off screen. Just manually control these guys and kill these guys off. I don't want to have to do that. I really don't want to have to do that. Oh, Oklahoma's here. Look at that. That's kind of nice. Plastic fibers are cool. Stealth armor. I like that stealth armor. There you go. Train. Alright, so let's take a look at this now that that's almost done. And let's go with more offensive stuff. We like being offensive sometimes. Alright. Tsai Lo Zong Li. Okay, so, broken masks. Alright, so here we have Resentful Clan. So, our people just go to extremes after we do one thing to the next thing to the one thing to the next thing, so. Well, please the masses, but anger people. So we can piss off the people. Please remember to piss off the masses. I like this one because I want more manpower, but... Or else gunslinging and bandits. The Tsai dynasty has no use for place for criminals and bandits. All those who dare stick to their ways of gunslinging will be arrested and treated like the lowly criminals they are. Actually, with this whole... Tre oh, if you want to read about this, go right ahead. This happens every time, too. I'm going to go and grab some more war support because that's pretty useful. Dealing with the Rome, does this... So, it's interesting. Okay, so it does work like this. So, you get a peace treaty for a certain amount of time. It looks like about three years-ish. Maybe a little bit less than three years. So, that's good to know. That it, it, the truce that you can get moves as you do uh, other stuff. 
as you let time go on. Yeah, we're gonna need more money. Um, can we please finish this wall? Because I need Los Elos Bunker. I think that's a trade node, right? Or maybe not. Oh, there's the puppets. That's kind of nice. The Boneyard, the hub. Oh, maybe not. Painter off. Oh, am I trading with anybody? Maybe not. 1860, 108, the hub. Oh, maybe not. There we go. My bad. I always forget about that. I mean, that's why caps. I don't, I'm not. I like the caps system a little bit, but I never remember to use it. Truth be told, so. Okay, so if they're not going to do anything, I'm just going to manually make sure that they kill each other off. Like, this is getting a bit ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. They're just sitting there. But let's do the next focus, shall we? After we take a look at this. Uh, let's see. Loyal. Rebellious masses. So we're going to help out the masses. All right. Help out the masses. Please, the masses. All right. Vendetta law. The province of Nan Shah is a wild wasteland. A different type of order must be maintained there to ensure stability. The Vendetta laws will be allowed to stay, but they're only under imperial supervision. Of course. All right. So it's now January 10th, 2284. We're doing and going through a few focuses. The one I did off screen was the size families. Loyalty to the empire is the most important factor we must consider when establishing pr the provincial governments. Rulership will be maintained by the Tsai clan members only and local gun businesses. The locals of the province of Haijing are rather resourceful, perhaps with the right encouragement and funding they can set up their own weapon workshops that will greatly serve our economy and military. And very nice. And we still have, we actually got secrets off off screen which is pretty normal. Um, we do have Chinese language. Let's see, we have a loyal Tsai clan, well, the, we have very rebellious masses. I think I set it up to the point where these guys, the Desert Rangers, will now lose. They're taking increased losses, so... As you know, that's probably pretty good for us, right? We got a lot of political power, though. Holy crud. And we're getting more money, which is awesome. I love it. More money is usually probably a good thing, right? <laughs> Let's go about some settlements. We can exploit some people, but... Get more construction speed. That's not too bad. Eh, but we don't really need it right now. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, that is some big ol' Ammonites. Oh, there they go. Nice. Finally, thank goodness. Oh, and the... Oh, oh the Vault City people are coming back. Look at that. Yeah, they were out of manpower when we saw them. Usually, New Reno can do extremely well, but... The brain is not taking no for an answer here. Zero... Both sides. Wow. I completely forgot to look at Vault City earlier, but that's okay. I'm much more interested in happening, what's happening with these guys. So, we can do a peace deal together. Um, Maybe I honestly shouldn't do it together, but... Uh, let's make sure that we give these guys this territory first. Nice. Cool. Alright, and then I'm, I'm just going to take the rest of this. I'm not going to deal with anything else. Hopefully the Legion doesn't want this territory. Uh, it's going to take a lot of clicks. I apologize for the clicking once again. This is a very clicky episode, but oh well. Uh, let's see. So I did ask you guys yesterday what our intelligence name should be. Some of you guys came up with some really good ones. Uh, including the Ministry of State Security. I thought I would choose that one earlier, but I found some other ones that uh, you guys recommended, including Embroidered Uniform Guard. Yeah, let's make sure we get everything that we want here. Oh, oh it's going to be even more clicking. Uh, some of you guys also recommended the Jade Palace. Well, as soon as we're done here, and I'll, I'll show you exactly which one I thought was the most fitting for us. It's, it's simple. It's somewhat unique. <laughs> and I apologize for my sneeze. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Can we at least take that? That's good. And this is what happens when you use the stage entrance tool mod. Uh, it shouldn't be too much more that we need for that. Let's take this next. Zoom out so we can see. Oh my gosh, 814 and 748. Holy cow. I apologize for this, guys. I really do. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I should have just done this off screen. Probably. Let's take that one next. Cool. And more than halfway there. 814. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Cool. That should be it. Do I deserve all this? No, but whatever. Oh, are we missing something here? Oh, we're disconnected. Um. Oh, Navarro. Yeah, we'll just take that if we can. God dang it. Yeah, my apologies. I thought that was everything. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to pop them. Just take everything that we can from them and leave them nothing. All right, there we go. Now that's looking a little better, and finally we can deal with all the stuff here. Now in this focus tree, there's nothing else up top. There's stuff down here. Ancient rivals. Obviously, we we have to go to war with them, right? We have to go to war with them. More slave markets. The bull. Chinese dragoons against legionnaires. Persuading potential allies. 80s to hone a nation. Southern rebellions. 
Cowboy Riots. Ooh, the Cowboy Country goes back, comes back, as well as the Ranchers. War against Barbarians. As much as I want to do this side, I, I really want to do this side. Um, hmm. I mean, it, it, it's pretty fitting for us to go fight these guys. And we might play this mod again several times. Even though it does make sense for us to go down the Silk Road. Ooh, hmm. Regardless, take a look. let's take a look here. Let's see, resentful members. Yeah, the clan is being very resentful, so we want to appease them for now. Tsai, officials. To ensure the province of Haijing remains loyal to the imperial government and empress in Luo Yang, the only Tsai clan members will be elected to positions of power within the province of Haijing. Haijing. Now, oh, yeah, let's go do some of this stuff. We have some caps, that's okay. Uh, how much money are we making? Not that much. We're we'll probably still going to save as much as we can, but at least right now. Even though we actually didn't get another research, uh, not research off, but uh, trade node. Oh, here we go. Governing the new territories. The new Brotherhood territories are now under our direct control. We will need to deal with the defeated, with the defeated within our new lands, as well as enacting our new policies on the defeated lands. Brotherhood resistance will be a great problem if we do not deal with it soon. And so the paper begins. My apologies for my voice. I had a burp there, but I suppressed it. With the Brotherhood's leadership in, now in tatters, we need to deal with the governing over our empire's new territories and how to best handle and prevent a revolt. Well, I just integrate them pretty much. Establish imperial governments, imperial subjects. Tsai elitism. Um, that's okay. Enlist Brotherhood turncoats. Research speed. Honor Paladin warriors. That's kind of cool. Additional plating. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Let's grab some of that too, because we will need some. Oh, that's a lot of manpower. Look at that. Nice. That is some nice, good old manpower. This is. Borgor is not very good here, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh boy. But we also have established Imperial. Uh, governments. Drop tanks would be nice. Yeah, I like drop tanks to get more range. Oh, I think I see a problem here. We technically can do the fighters, but we need jet engines and scientific air tech, which I think is a big issue. We don't have scientific air tech. Oh, maybe unless we get it later, which would be very cool if we could, but I don't know if we actually can. Let's finish off radar, shall we? And, uh, well, I'd love to continue doing this stuff here. Let's do an established imperial government. In the absence of the High Elder and the Elder Council leadership, a new Imperial Government that is loyal to the Empress will be established to govern our new territories. Imperial Government. Appointing Governors? Well, let's take a look. Tsai only administration. Enlist local aid. Establish a caste system. We'll get more compliance, less resistance. Caste according to rank. Oh, we just get some free cores. Or lowest caste enforcement. One, two, three, four, five, six cores. Or one, two, or all of them become cores in exchange for political power. Honestly, that's the better deal. Because even though you can get six free cores, basically, and 125 political power, it costs way more political power uh, to core everything else. Even though you only lose 150. So, this is much better, according to rank. Now we get a Savage Brother Commandery, which wouldn't be bad. It would fit us a little bit better. Maybe just because we already have so many puppets. But, actually, you get more political power versus... You know, versus them and more research speed, but demand tribute. Yeah, this is definitely not worth it. Weekly manpower plus one, brother military tribute. Yeah, no, we're gonna go to the Tsai Imperial government just because that's better. We will establish full control of the boss territories. An imperial government that reports directly to Luo Yang will be set up and ensure that the brother territories will serve us loyally, which is a good thing. Yeah, by the time we get another research slot, if we ever do, we'll pretty much everything have everything pretty much already researched though. So. But this territory is so much more important to do than anything else. And actually, that's going to be really ugly, yeah. Because they're going to have this territory here, but the, once we take this over and have an actual puppet there, that's not going to look very good. I wonder if we can own this territory, too. hope the Navajo Nation does well, but they're getting pushed in already, it looks like. Oh, boy. CQC training is nice. I love it. Um, yeah, more max entrenchment is pretty good, too. All right. And next up, we shall do... Establish a caste system. We just might as well go out and do it. That's actually nice to just get some free political power, too. If we're to have a peacefully and easy job of governing the Brotherhood territories, we will need to establish a caste system that allows us to have an easier time governing the masses. Even more compliance and less resistance. Even though, how much resistance do we have right now? Let's take a look, shall we? F6? It shows you the resistance levels, and F7 shows you the compliance levels. We're already at 100% here. Already at 77% minimum. For the most part, 70% down in Lost Hills, but that isn't bad. Resistance strength 34.5, 34.4, 34.3, so 
yeah, not bad. I really wish we could get more, could get a trade node. I don't like it that we can't invade these guys through our, you know, po literal puppet, which I really don't like within zero kilometers. But whatever, it is what it is, I suppose. Even though 35 day focuses, mm, it's not bad. I mean, we, we're doing this a little bit late. So, maybe 35 day focuses fit here. Maybe they really do. I think maybe something like 24, was it 20, 20 day focuses, 21 day focuses, maybe something like that, 28 day focuses might be slightly better just because there's so much here to do, but I could be wrong and maybe we'll discover more about that when uh, we get further down the road in this campaign. But cast coring to rank, that's so much, so much better. Because the cost of coring stuff increases so much more up to a max of 2,000 uh, for an old world blues, like, as you core more and more, and just as your population gets bigger, not even coring stuff, as your population gets bigger, it costs more and more every single time to core places, so it's so much more worth it just to go and take this one. You get 15 cores, basically, versus 6 and a little bit of political power, that, which will not be enough to core after you get these many cores, so... Cast according to rank. Our new Brotherhood subjects will be treated the same way as they were treated prior to invasion. This will ensure a smoother transition of allegiance and power and allow us to integrate the new territories more easily. My apologies for my creaky old desk. It's like 12 years old. Yeah, it's, it's pretty old. So, As much as fun as we would like to do that, uh, it's not worth it. Free cores will take it. Appointing governors. I want to finish this part of the, the focus right here. So, the job of governorship from over the Brotherhood territories is a vital job. We will need to be careful in deciding who, to, who to appoint to rule over the territories and represent Her Majesty. You know, I was thinking, I can't really remember. Organization Marketplace. But... Let's see, Uncord States. Oh, we can core them, but that'd be... Eh, actually, we might be able to core Navarro later on. Is there a way for us to get money from our puppets? Because they are our subjects. And I don't remember exactly how puppets work in Hoi 4. I just know that they give you factories, and some factories and stuff. And you can request to use your manpower for garrisons or soldiers. Which is not bad, but at this point we have 32,000 manpower. I'm not too worried about it. But, oh, they're on, wow, conscription law. Yeah, they go to extremes. But is there a way for you to demand tribute from these guys? Like, they're your puppets. Can we get money from them? Uh, I honestly have no idea. But that might be possible. That might not be possible. I, I would really like to know. If it gets like, okay, you're going to pay us like a certain amount of caps every single, uh, you know, quarter or whatever. I think that if that's not already in the game or the mod at the time of this recording, I think that could be, you know, put in just in case, you know. Because uh, I'd like to own Sac City. I don't know if there's any way for us to actually integrate these guys. That'd be really cool if we could. But we'll see. Of course, if you lower their autonomy constantly, you can always integrate them later. But then it means you have to manually core them, which kind of sucks. So let's come down on autonomy then. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. But impressive indeed. Then BC officers will be pleased with the efficiency of their soldiers. And store Vandenberg AFB or Air Force Base? Yes, please. Yeah, we don't have a lot of money. I want to start saving a little bit more money up. That would probably be a good thing to do. Tsai only administration or enlist local aid. That's not a lot much manpower. I prefer the political power for that one. Even though there's nothing we can do with that political power in, in the end. Uh, I guess the manpower probably. Custom book capacitors. And this local aid, why not? Well, uh, but we are doing appealing to rank. Oh, which one do we want? You know, maybe we'll say this one. Well, maybe we'll say this. Imperial subjects. Psy elitism, even more political power. My goodness, there's no point to do that right now, though. I don't want to you, you just do political power all the time, so maybe we'll do the province of Baishan. The northern hill regions of the NCR were former tribal territories and lack significant amount of infrastructure. Provincial authority will be required to set up to help develop the region and ensure that the formal tribals of the area are as subservient to the empire and the empress's demands. Oh, our empress. Yes, please. Advanced recycling. This isn't just your normal recycling. This is advanced recycling. Look at that. Okay, at this point, I think we can just demobilize a little bit more. Um, this is going to be a big hit, but we're going to go to your conscription because we can. And since we already have it, we got so much political power. And we'll need it for the future, I'm sure, but still. Hand to the old soul. Do all these guys. It doesn't really matter. Oh. There you go. There you go. Glanius. I still need a place. Glanius. The town is recording, so... So much manpower, even though we're, we're demobilizing quite a bit, but we you know, whatever. Whatever. 
Is there a way for us to integrate these provinces into our own country? I would love to know if we could do that. Industrial your support's gone. Rebellious mass is, it, is what it is. Failure to deal with this matter appropriately may lead to a massive beginning thoughts of open revolt. Well, I guess with that one, let's go ahead and appease the masses next, shall we? Appease the masses. Appease the masses. Please the masses and get more stability, which is actually pretty good. So, elected rule. The people of the province of Haijing have always lived under elected leadership. They can continue to keep the system in exchange that the elected rulers are still loyal and subservient to Luo Yang. Oh, elected rule. Do I really like elected rule? I don't know if I really like that, but that's okay. Hey, look at that! We can actually walk over there now. I hope. And they're led by a little mountain there, little hills. Tsai Gao Long. Oh, look at that! We can actually lower the autonomy of a subject? Yes. Very good. Oh, now we can build up more here. Nice. Love it. Oh, this is actually our own, too. Nice. Auto meter harvesting. Cool. Um, might as well get some gene crop. Renos. We still can't touch these guys down there. Which is weird when I say we can't touch those guys, but hey, whatever. Oh, yeah, we have this to do as well. We have 157 factories. Wow. That's a lot of factories, not gonna lie. Uh, Lu Shu. Wait, Lu Shu's here. Isn't there... A, there's a unique mod for his country, I think. I'm pretty sure. Do Shu Lu. Yeah, there is a unique mod. I don't have it enabled, but it's, it's a fun mod. It's the Chinese commies in uh, Colorado, so... But yeah, look at this. Oh, a little bit of lag. Yeah, we have it all cored. Look at that. There's literally no reason to not get it all cored. Love it. Love it. Love it. So after this, we'll piss off a lot more people. Maybe we'll just... Oh, look at this. Strengthen the empire. Oh, I didn't realize this. Oh. When did that get here? Lightning, Blitz, Tactics, Division, Speed, Warrior, Cast. Wow, 5% more to the Chinese War Dragon Warriors. Wow, Imperial Dragoons. I'd love to do that, but... Wait, we get free cores? Whoa, exterminate the savages. Northern savages. Ooh. Well then... So we need to help out the clan next. Clan, 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 and deploy the Imperial Guards. Lose manpower, get more army speed. To ensure that the tribals do not attempt to revolt against the rulership, we must deploy our own Imperial military to keep the tribals in check and subservient under our control. So please the clan, so now we gotta piss off the clans next. Piss off the clans with more war support? Oh, we get more stability though. Ooh, that's probably better for us to do. Ooh. So this one pleases the clans, so let's piss off the clans, but... Uh, I think we'll do the province of Mojave next. The Mojave Desert lies on the fringes of our territories and is not easy to access or get by with along 15, the only main access point. A provincial government will have to be established until we can firmly establish control over the region and employ direct rule from Luo Yang, which will be a good, good thing for us. Yeah, this is... Thank goodness the Legion paid in blood for their uh, territory because I didn't want to. <laughs> I love it. And just keep building up, guys. Just You're doing a great job. Just build, 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 build. Build, 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 build. Got some belt capacitors. Let's just let time go on for now. Just because we can afford it. And uh, we just want to push through the focus tree as fast as possible. Uh, nice. But it's an interesting mod. I, I definitely say that. It's, it's, I'd say it's pretty fun. Caravan ambush. If you like to read about that, please go ahead. At least we can try. Nice. Anything else here? 7.63. Uh, I don't want to spend any more money, though. That's my big thing right now. Clap down on autonomy. Deploy the Imperial Guards. Mojave. So now the masses don't like us. Go figure. Mojave representation. More stability? Yeah, let's go with this one next. Mojave representation. The people of the Mojave lack proper representation when under the rule of General Oliver by giving them the representation that they wanted. This will help appease them and help stabilize the region. Which is not bad. So I wonder what happens when we get all through all of this. Do we get like a decision maybe eventually to core everything? That'd be kind of cool. If we could do that. I kind of doubt it's in the mod, but hey, you never know. You never know. Help settlements out. That's nice. Research speed. And eh, I'll do it too, because we can. Grain solicitations. We get more money. Construction speed, of course. Nice. This, is, this looks like a pretty big tree. It reminds me of Italy's tree in uh, TNO. Just... Once you get to a certain point, you just see everything that they have. Alright, so. They want some representation? They can have some representation. 
Wow, we just take Hidden Valley, Helios 1, Vault 3, Route 95, and Long 15. Kind of broken. Kind of broken. But, there they are. Not bad. The Province of Mojave, which I like. I really like that name. And I love the flag. I love... Uh, these must be original flags. Um, they have to be, right? Oh, and now we've actually successfully cut these guys off. Except they do have a few ports here. Oh, that's our port. Um, they do have a port down there, but once we take that territory, it's going to be all gone. And they've went there, but still. Hey, look, no stability. Probably because we piss off the masses, right? Yep. And after we piss off the masses, what we're probably going to do is the province of Zongsha. The territory is close to the former NCR capital. Ooh, they're, what? they're lying. Of Shady Sands will be the most troublesome to establish control over, given how devoted they are to their desire for democracy and a republic. We're going to give them a provincial government to rule over them for now, at least until we can solidif solidify our control over them. Not bad. Shady Sands' uh, capital's name becomes Zhongsha. Province of Zhongha becomes a puppet of the Tsai dynasty. Very cool. Oh, and you know, I never told you which one of your names I chose for our intelligence agency. And I'll show it to you as soon as we get the Mojave representation finito all right so like i said with other names earlier but the ones i think that we should go with if you already saw it was the golden eyes dragon or the dragons the golden dragon's eye something like that these guys are still trying to kill off the ammonites ammonites huh cool good luck guys but yeah i even changed the image here the insignia just because i thought it would maybe be a little bit more fitting so yep pulse energy weapons not bad oh we got some people who want to interrupt what we're doing here huh so we currently have Oh, yeah. A resentful clan. We don't want a resentful clan. Local interests. Resentful clan. We want to help the clan. Psi interests. Ooh. Psi interests. Right? So it's the clan's interests. Enforce Psi culture. Yes, please. We cannot allow the continued existence of some backwards tribal culture to be predominant in the region. We'll have to enforce our own culture in ways to properly civilize the area and ensure that it remains a stable group place. Very nice. I got about a week left, man. But at least we have a little bit of stability. That's kind of nice. We've got a lot of puppets, man. But hey, we can almost annex the Shanjing. Not bad. Yeah, we. This is one of the campaigns where I've had. I want to say an excess of of culture, of political power, but we have had, had a lot of a lot of stuff. Supportive masses. They're gonna piss be pissed off. So we gotta help the masses out. Tribal settlements. Please the masses. Uh, so I'll piss off the masses. Well, I kind of like that, but probably tribal settlements will be next. We have no time or resources to waste on developing the tribals. Let them keep their countryside settlements. It will keep them happy, at least, and ensure that they do not cause too much trouble. All right, now how's this looking? Province of Zongsha, which... Why do these guys still own this? So maybe the dev missed these three areas, maybe? I don't know. That seems very weird, because that was technically part of the Legion. Or uh, the NCR. Other than that... These guys have been cut off completely. They don't have this little sliver of things, which I don't understand why. Uh, go with the fans. Foundries, because we can. Uh, oh, and the Legion owns this as well, which is kind of ugly, I'm not going to lie. So, that's actually not too bad for us. Do we have our own faction? Oh, that's such a mistake. We should have our own faction, hopefully, eventually. I think we really do deserve our own faction, but... Should I integrate these guys? I feel like I, sh I really want to integrate these guys. Shan Jing? Yeah, I don't know. Shan Jing. I mean, that would help us get started on integrating more areas, so. But I want to kind of wait and see if there's anything once we have these these areas all done. You know, I want to see if that's going to be enough. And now people are pissed off again, right? So we need to help out the masses. Cool. The action will please most of the masses. We have no time or resources to waste on developing the tribals. Let them keep the countryside settlements. It'll keep them happy at least and ensure that they do not cause too much trouble. So I want to go through all of these separate focuses first. And if nothing happens, we'll still integrate the Shan Jing. Because we might as well. And Sac City is a trade node. So that actually would really, really help us out. And we lost all of our stability again. Great. Great. So we have rebellious masses. This will make the masses please us. And actually, both of them will like us. Which is not bad. Imperial authority. Democratic authority. Uh, piss off, piss off. These guys will be all pissed off at each other. Yeah, this is all just going to piss people off. So, we'll just do the Thai Imperial Authority. 
Let them have the representation. They will only be represented by governors that are part of the Cyclam, who will ensure that our interests in the area are kept in mind when governing over the peoples of the area. Once you get more political power, which is, well, we can still use some more. Oh, but we get stability here. Democratic authority. I kind of want more stability for now. Establishing a small bit of democratic rule will allow the locals and keep them happy. We only allow them to elect members that, that at least keep our own interests in mind as well as the interests of the locals. Very nice. So, we'll, so basically this one will piss off the members of the clan. Which is fine. You know, whatever. It's a part of Mass's loyal clan. So piss off the... Uh, what is it? The clan members. Pulse energy weapons are nice. We got some pew down there. Very nice. Let's grab some of this. Virtual reality training. Who cares? Just go ahead and do it anyways. So pisses off the clan. Shady sends militia. Now we got Imperial Garrisons here. An Imperial Garrison that is loyal directly to the Empire and the Empress must be deployed in the region. We cannot allow any former NCR remnants get, to get any ideas about rising up and restoring their beloved democracy again. And we're slowly mobilizing a little bit more manpower. Go figure. Slowly getting some more army XP every day and no more air XP, which sucks. But how's, how's that air group we had earlier that just I told them to train? They're doing quite well. Uh, well, at least every group is going to get some dedicated air wings of cast. And we actually have someone here. Ace pilot Thomas Moose Green. Well, you don't seem to sound very Chinese, but that's okay. So this will likely anger the masses. Support of masses versus a resentful clan. Anger the masses. Please the clan. Uh, so anger the masses. we got to appease the masses. I kind of like this one. Appease them. Anger the clan members. So song... Zongshan Imperial Palace. I kind of want to do that one, but the governor's office. We have no resources to spare on extravagant projects. The former governmental buildings of the NCR are sufficient enough to be used by our new imperial governors and ensure that we do not upset the locals with the destruction of their beloved landmarks. Not bad. And we're done mobilizing. That is a lot of manpower at 10% mobilization. Wow. See, if we all come together, we can afford more things and have a good time. Look at this. Oh, I guess they're still training. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah. Or go and detach if you need to. Uh, natural disasters. Give everything we can. Uh, we already. Eh. Gotta do that. Give everything we can. Yeah, still have enough money for not clamp down on autonomy. I know the technology we need to do, but whatever. And there you go. Cool. It's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't really care. And like you said, rebellious masses. We want to help the masses out. And because the clan is kind of loyal, so now we're going to piss off the me members of the clan. Oh, basic aquifers. Might as well get that one done and come over here, too. I know we have other auctions we needed to do, but whatever. So that's going to make the masses happy. But we need to piss off. So, so yeah. So the members become angry, so we need to please the members. The Tsai interests. The Tsai clan has many interests within the region of the Mojave, and we will see to it that their interests are properly met. We get a whole two civilian workshops. Nice. And hopefully, we get all this stuff down here, which would be actually pretty darn nice to achieve. Oh, yeah. And we're building up a lot of infrastructure everywhere. Um, actually, maybe not everywhere. Oh, yeah, I forgot we do this stuff too. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're close enough. I love the size interests. And now they love us, but now they hate us. These guys, they're very fickle. They're, either they love us or they, they hate us. There's no in-between. Like, can you just like lo like us just for a little bit? You don't have to love us or hate us. Just just like us or dislike us, you know? Nice. Good. Anything else? I probably missed someplace somewhere. But that's alright for now. In the meantime, we can always build up more air bases because we're going to need them against the Legion. Especially right here. Nice. There you go. Alright, so it's like interest. Piss off the masses. It is what it is. So we want to help the masses. Helios power. Oh, just please them. Oh, we just please them too. Hoover Dam. Oh, it goes. Oh, look at that. The name changes to the Great Wall. I've got to do that. I've got to do that one, right? And either one, it doesn't matter. The Shi Chang, we get six outposts there. And this one gives more energy, but energy is fun and all, but whatever. Oh my goodness. Oh, there goes. Oh. Oh, they still have new fingers, huh? Oh, I guess that opens up quite a board. Actually, that makes sense for them, since they'll be able to come through here then. Alright, alright. Rebellious masses. 
Yep, they have a lot of rebellious masses. Um, so with that rebellious masses, advanced refining, advanced mining techniques. Locals are resourceful and given the old world technologies, they can significantly improve their mining output and yields which will greatly benefit them and give us more resources that, that we'll send via tribute. Nice. A little bit more stability. Anything at the top here? No. Anything at the bottom? Eh, let's do PA, why not? We can. Not bad. Oh, they're getting attacked. Oh my gosh, that's so much territory. The duties of an overseer. It's still a lot of political power. Wow, or manpower. Jeez Louise. So hopefully, now everyone will hopefully be at the end placated with what we've done. Hopefully nobody's going to be too pissed off at us and people will enjoy our rule, right? At least that's the hope and dreams. All right, after advanced mind techniques. Now they support us. Very fickle people. And then we got the Goshi Chang. The old world wall, Hoover Dam. It's a reminiscent of the Great Wall that is based on our ancestral homeland. And now Hoover Dam will be our Great Wall to protect us from the barbarians of the East. Well, with the way the barbarians from the East are conducting themselves. It might be best if we extend the, uh, the wall through our provincial puppets as well. Just saying, man, you know. They got stuff up there. They got stuff near Klamath. They got stuff near, what was New Vegas? Or, not New Vegas, but the Desert Rangers, Steel Rangers. Area 6, Area 51. Even down here, too. Um, yeah. Uh, well, we got a lot of equipment, which is pretty nice. Advanced aquifers. Got some of that. There's Sky Reavers. Yeah, Legion. Still looking pretty big. Kind of a mess, but still kind of big. And then maybe we'll end with the last focus for this episode, with the dealings with Rome. Kaisa's Legion modeled after an ancient nation of the Romans, our far western counterparts during the ancient times. Now that we boarded them, it's only appropriate that we decide how to deal with them. We get some more, slightly more war support, slightly more stability. But happy 2286, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great new year. It's January. Probably kind of cold. But I think that's going to end us here. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, we have supportive masses and uh, loyal Sai clans. Should we just go ahead and try to integrate, like, Shan Jing and whoever else? Um, actually, let's take a look here. Uh, good, good. It does cost political power to do so. So let me know if I should do this and just start acquiring stuff, because we're going to need that extra trade note, so let me know if I should do that. As well as, I'll leave this up to you. Should we do the Silk Road? Which we can do trees with Rome, and we're going to kind of sauce one. We get a lot more caps, we get some infrastructure workshops, slave trade. We get Master of the Sea, which is kind of worthless for us, but, you know. Oh, actually, we can choose this Shin San Shia. And then we get New Reno, and we get Wargles against those guys. And eventually we could get some more, you know, cores, free cores. Over here with New Vegas, we get we could potentially get some research slots. Uh, it is what it is. So, and Vault City, we, get, we saw that one earlier. Or, should we just go ahead and do Ancient Rivals, and a truce with them for, in like, one more year, and then have Rebellions rise up and try to fight these guys as well? Let me know in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow when we will have made our decisions. Oh, look at that. And we will have a great time together. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.